and start the show. Ah, oh, motherfuckers. Husband. Welcome back to another episode of them hard <laughs> motherfucking feelings. This is for the down and outs, <laughs> for the bums, for the left alones, the divorce guys, the divorce yeah. gals. <laughs> If you're sitting in your apartment out by the airport, this is the show for you, gang. Welcome back to another exciting episode of them hard motherfucking feelings. Hang on. Hello, hard feelings. We got them. You want them. Hold, please. <laughs> I'm your host, H. Foley. Papa Come Roach on. starts playing. <laughs> got my life in two pieces. This is my pizza. You remember that whole bullshit? Uh, Kippy Kevin James Ryan is here with us. Thank you, gentlemen. They know who I am. If of course you don't, they If you do. don't know me at the 10 or $20 level, yeah. buddy, I don't know what's going Check on. Check him out at the blackjack table over there. At the fucking All right, get board. the cards Gotta. out of your hands before you get distracted. By the way, this is the last pack of cards. <laughs> Hit me on the low. Make me. All right, stop. That's, that's you're making noise. Um, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh, uh, like Evanescence, yeah, and all that yeah. stuff. God, that was trash. Sure, I mean, you know, you were older for it. I'm not saying it was good, but I'm just saying like that'd be like me being like these fucking B2K kids or what? You know, what's B2K? B, uh, B2- oh, the kids that kill people and. <laughs> That's a murderer. <laughs> no, B- that was that was a bound BTK. Yeah, BKTS. The Korean kids, the uh, K-pop stars. Speaking of uh, murderers, did you see that documentary on the girl that disappeared at the Cecil Hotel in L.A.? I have not, no. Scary stuff. <laughs> Scary stuff. <laughs> it was very like Dennis Miller of you. Scary stuff right here. Wild, wacky stuff over there. <laughs> this guy would cut you up, then kill you. Um... <laughs> Welcome to Hard Feelings, everybody. Uh, I got a couple this week. Want to kick it off right now. Uh, before I get into the big stress test, the nuclear test, okay? <laughs> Which I filmed some video, but I filmed it the wrong way. I saw. Yeah. <laughs> I filmed it straight up and down. You can't fix stupid. You just can't. There's no <laughs> answer for it. I mean. You can't buy he, smart kids. He claims he's the head of content. He's sending me upside down videos. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> he's doing selfies with a camera on the back of the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he's turning it. <laughs> can't see myself. Um, before I get into that, a little bit of a bone to pick with my boy out there at the fucking juice spot by my apartment. They also sell frozen yogurt, um, which I usually frequent. If you're not into Euro tart frozen yogurt, I get down to a pink berry or whatever you got in the neighborhood. Man, that's a fucking good time. And it's locale. Um, we got a juice place that we go to to get treats at night. We go down and we get a little frozen yogurt. Um, just dark chocolate and some strawberries on top. I get the big boy. Um <laughs> Sneak it in Skittles like it's a movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a burger on the bottom. <laughs> cover it up so my girl don't see. Anywho, so my lady was feeling a little bit under the weather um, yesterday. Sure. Because we had a little bit of a Kobe scare mm-hmm. last week. So I'm familiar. So we had to uh, we had to go go get tested. Um, and we, we we slogged up there on Super Bowl Sunday, which it was snowing. We walked up thinking that it was just going to be the regular wait in line and get a thing, but it turns out they switched over to uh, making reservations. Um, making reservations. Can I get a table for two by the blood pressure machine, please? <laughs> <laughs> Try the specials. But uh, so she got a little sniffies from that, okay? Obviously, we were worried it was COVID, but we both came back negative, and then you and I got tested uh, yesterday. So we're both cleaning the whistle. Anywho... Clean in the whistle. Um, whistle, I don't know. Whistles are clean, right? Sounds like they took a peek down your pee hole. <laughs> clean in the whistle. <laughs> they, they get a pipe cleaner in that thing. <laughs> Kid's got a burner. Anywho, so we had this regular guy that we go to that we get our we get our yogurt from, and we'll get a juice every once in a while, acai bowl, you know, whatever, you know, nice day. Sure, I'm listening. Um, I, I break this guy off like a green grocer. Fucking, you know, tip him. Boom, boom, boom. Here you go. That's for you. That's for you. That's for you. Takes good <laughs> care of us. So I go in there to get my lady a fucking uh, pineapple, straight pineapple juice so she feels better. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to surprise her. He uses the pineapple. You're surprise her with a half-empty pineapple juice? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know, I, I know you say I'm too good, to, too good to you, but here you go. Touch, that has for you. <laughs> Venmo me when you got it. <laughs> but he gives me the pineapple that's all chopped up in the, in the little uh, frozen yogurt buffet where you put your toppings on. Okay, just it, like in a cup? No, he no, he used that. He went and got the you know the thing that that's in. Where I would go in and scoop it from the from the sure. accessory bar. 
He used that and put that in the juicer. In the juicer? Yeah. So what is it, like liquid? I don't understand the difference here. Instead of cutting up a fresh pineapple and putting it in the juice, he took the shit that was out for other people that other people had been dipping into. Other people are dipping year. during COVID? You're going to like communal toppings bars? They have it out. <sighs> Shift gears, big man. What, COVID can get on, on pineappies? I don't know. I wouldn't be doing it. Can't get on New York's che- a different. Would you eat at a hot bar? You wouldn't eat at a hot bar. <sighs> Man. New York's a different place post COVID, dude. You can't be doing using com- communal toppings. I don't know, man. You, you know I like a nice hot bar. Oh, man, you I know. know it. A little fucking teriyaki chicken, and some mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes. Man, that's a combo. Yeah, that's fusion right there. Yeah, you can get whatever. A little down oh, home, little so fucking good. far east, some seafood <laughs> salad, whatever you need. Are they gonna come back ever? Because I'd have hard feelings with that if they never come back. They're bad. I mean, there's one not too far. There's one in Midtown that I no, I don't go there, but it's there. Mm-hmm. It's limited, you know, selection. I tell you, people split in town, man. This place is looking real dumpy. That's fucking. They're partying down in fucking Tampa. I'm fucking waiting in line for the COVID Super Bowl. tests. <laughs> yeah. Win the Super Bowl, maybe you can party. What the fuck have you done? Still got two years of eligibility left. Get back out. Blue 42! <laughs> Red Dog, hard feeling. Set hike. Um, so that bothered me about that a little bit. You know what I mean? I thought you said you had stuff. I do. The guy's using, he, it's fresh cut pineapple. No, it's not. Fresh cut pineapple is fresh cut pineapple. I'm in there breaking you off fucking a 20% tip every time I fucking get yogurt. I'm expecting some fucking premium service. Don't you hate that when the bottom drops out on you? You think you have a guy locked down? I know. He doesn't play ball on you? Jesus Christ. Did you go to corporate or something? What'd you do? Just drank it. (laughs) (laughs) It's pretty good. You drank? You didn't even give it to her? It had seeds in it, too, which pineapples don't have seeds. So that leads me to believe that a strawberry or something fell in there. (laughs) Something's a ride. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I I don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten fresh pineapple juice. No, I don't drink pineapple juice. It makes your uh, semen taste like pineapple. I heard about that. I see mm-hmm. that. I I want to be. I want to be a raw foods vegan guy. I would love to to have the willpower to do that. This That's is really, one of yeah. What you've been saying this for a long time. I'm going vegan. I'm going clean. I'm I do- had the pineapple juice. <laughs> There's a little steak in there. <laughs> <laughs> Deep fry for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just think you got to make smaller changes before you, you know, you know, go reinventing the wheel. That's all I'm saying. But I like that stuff. I know El Presidente over there at Barstool is big on pineapple juice. Ah, is that why you do it? Yeah. Guy's a millionaire. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, logically, start drinking what he drinks. And I got be that there. going for me. Yeah. <laughs> so my ship's coming in. <laughs> I just got to sit back, put my feet up, <laughs> wait for the Brink's truck to roll into Foleyville. Foley's doing pizza reviews for no camera. <laughs> <laughs> I like to put the whole pie in my mouth. <laughs> Twelve bites. One right. pie. Everybody knows the rules. <laughs> Foley, who are you talking? What? <laughs> Cats looking at. I you. would have a hard time doing that, and I was probably all. I, I've never really had because everything you ate would be a nine. Yeah, I never. Have you ever had? Have you ever had bad pizza? I mean, I guess I have. I don't describe. It's I. I love all pizza. some. Some pizza, I'm just, I'm going to eat it or, like, eat the majority. Like, I'll eat every slice of pizza that's put in front of me, mm-hmm. whether I like it or not. It's going down, especially if I'm hungry. So love, it's like, I love pizza. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you get, like, you know, if you've been ever been, like, fucking Central PA or something, like, that pizza we got when we did Royer's for it, that pizza uh, stunk. That was, like, bad fucking pizza. It was a Palermo's, too. It was a Palermo's in my hometown, top notch. And I was just like, what the fuck? Like, that was just like, and I was like, well, I have to eat. I'm going to eat it. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go hungry. What am I? Fuck, can't, can't perform on an empty stomach. Kippy needs his fucking carbs. Fucking you know what I mean? Cost, what do you mean? He just punchline juice. The Palermo's in my hometown is so good that the son, I believe, got in trouble for doing something shady with some underage people. People still go there. Packed. Wow. The pizza's good enough. You overlook anything. <laughs> Jesus. Especially your family. <laughs> if it's on, if it ain't on tape, I don't buy it. Now give me him two large pies. Um, but that's my opener. Okay, I'm upset about that. I was upset about that. It'll ruin your day a little bit. Yeah, you know what I mean. You think like you know you're on the wavelength. You always go out of the way. You tip the guy and stuff like that. And you give me the fucking you give me the fucking the fruit buffet fruit. It's Cut tough. me a fresh I get, piney. I, I get it. I get it. I can't say I don't get it. I fucking get it. It would upset me as well. Yeah. And do you say something? Do you go, yo, but can you, can you cut me a fresh one? Because we've been jammed up over here at this deli when we order food sometimes. Mm-hmm. At the, and, like, they try to microwave a panini. I go, yo, toots. Yeah. I ain't paying fucking $11 for no microwaved fucking chicken porn panini. 
throw it in a toaster for your boy. Here's the thing. Me, the me saying things might be in my past. Ever since I saw that video of the couple getting, getting whacked over snow shoveling in PA. Oh, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah. So my mouth might be shut from here on out. I know. I was thinking. The pot's starting to cook. I'm not getting, I'm not getting fucking wasted now. <laughs> Well, I had back a couple of months ago, I had nothing to lose. <laughs> you put down like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I go, I go. Goes out on the street. You know what I mean? But I, I'm not doing that. Because everyone's packing. Once I squeeze, I don't squeeze till it's till it's, I don't stop squeezing till it's over. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, the kid, who knows the juice kid could could be it could be a fucking AR fifteen behind the counter. I don't know. Yeah. I'm done care. I'm done con- con- confronting anybody, any conference. I just don't care. Yeah, yeah I didn't it's care. Whatever. Plus uh, she was drinking it, so <laughs> dumb bro. <laughs> <laughs> Are you spitting this for me? <laughs> well, um, I had a bit of, uh, as we've teased it, and I guess on the last episode, uh, we went away, and then, you know, I went away for my honeymoon. Well, no, my one-year anniversary. Teased it? We got the whole rap. No, we went before. You're redoing material here? <laughs> <laughs> I, tried it out on the, I tried it out on the iTunes episode. Now I'm gonna fact- no, so we had to drive. I had to drive out in the middle. I woke. I didn't know it was supposed to snow this weekend. Remember, we, it snowed Sunday morning, pretty heavy. In we New talked, York. we talked, we didn't talk about we, the drive out there. We we saved it for the podcast, big man. We did, yeah. No, but we talked about your trip with the. Uh, the you said when did you go out? I said Sunday on the on the candy episode when we did the whole thing. No, we talked about it on the on the on the family episode that we, we just released. You had a fucking uh, a refrigerator in your trunk. Yeah, we talked about the valet. Right. Yeah. And you talked about the trip a little bit. No, but you, didn't. we didn't talk I, about I, the drive out there. That's crazy. No, we saved it for hard feelings, man. Uh, your car. <laughs> I have a fucking 2019 Jeep Latitude four wheel drive. With the attitude. No, oh, that's laddie. I love you, girl. Um, <laughs> you were just going to say no to whatever I was saying. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> then I had to drive to the airport for when we when we had to go home to see to see the family. Um, after that big snowstorm, I was terrified just driving on flat surfaces grand central parkway to the van wick i'm not, <laughs> an, not an idiot um you drove your fucking montego in arguably one of the worst <laughs> snowstorms in recent memory it was <laughs> february has been the snowiest february on record yeah and you're driving out to a fucking Poconos I, romance weekend. I didn't even know it was supposed to snow. We woke up, call it like 8 o'clock or something, and it's snow. And I think it's like those flurries. Like, oh, look, it's snowing type thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it'll, be a, it'll be a dusting. I hop in the shower. I get out and pack in the bath. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling relaxed. I'm fighting with Foley for fucking three hours via text over stuff that doesn't matter. Um, and I remember. <laughs> I'm trying to fuck cooking my bacon, my eggs, and getting it going. Going to go get a coffee, and it starts fucking. Can I stop you? Sure. You're getting in the car. You're going for a long well, drive. Hold on. Yeah. You're making breakfast before you leave. Yeah. That's drive-through excuse right there. That's all we need. Yeah, I don't want to be 400 pounds. Oh. Okay. I mean, yeah. No, but trust me. I would love to go get McMuffins and hash browns and fucking and and drink it with fountain sodas in the morning. Trust me, I want to do that. Yeah. It's willpower that I don't. My girl's good on shotgun with fast food. <sighs> tell, quick with the draw, huh? <laughs> and, yeah. Unwraps the burger. It's fucking nice. Yeah, no. Uh, Love you know, eating and driving. It's fucking double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> like Smith and Wesson right now. <laughs> <laughs> I got shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> driving with my elbows. <laughs> She's got an Uzi full of chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, Kill- clip me. <laughs> I'm out of ammo. <laughs> I'm hemmed up. They got me. <laughs> Take the wheel. <laughs> I need a wheel man. Um, yeah, no. You're I, dude, honestly, I would have been I would have been mad. It I didn't didn't put two and two together. What? That you fucking drove that car. Listen. I'm financially linked to you now. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're my mommy at this point. <laughs> no, trust me, I know. Um, <laughs> I got to keep an eye. I got to so look, look out for this kid. It was one of those things where I'm like, I didn't know it was going to snow, right? And then I, you see the flares, like, oh, look, it's snow and whatever. Like, you know, it just might be a dusting or something. Because I didn't hear anybody like, oh, what are you doing? You barrel down. Cause it Thank God you're right next to the GW. It had snowed a few days before, which I still hadn't dug my car out of. So now I'm getting fucking double deuced. 
You thought it was going to be like a white Christmas. You're driving out into The Shining. Yeah, it, yes, <laughs> yes. So I haven't driven in the so I, I dig my car out. By the way, I get out, and someone, the guy behind me is touching my car. Like, I don't know if the plow pushed him into me or something. He's literally, there's contact with the white, like, fucking Prius behind me. Luckily, I got some spot. I got some room up front that I can maneuver. So I. What's your equipment? With what? What are you scraping this off with? <laughs> I know it's not proper fucking. It's not. It's, <laughs> it's not. It's not. I, wa- I wanted to save it for the Patreon, but like, because you would have revealed it, but. It's a full size broom I have in my car. <laughs> I have a, a full push. I know, I know. I have a full size like house broom in my car. That's what you're scraping. The th- I'm just fucking pushing it off. Yeah. What if the ice builds up? How are you scraping it with the plastic on the end of the thing? I it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, he's got a hockey stick. <laughs> <laughs> I got a vacuum. <laughs> fucking Gretzky out there. <laughs> Left handed genius. <laughs> the great one. I bet you. I bet you're the kind of guy that doesn't. You 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 do the bare minimum on the scrape, I would assume. No, I, and I, let the defrost do the rest. No, I want, set it and forget no, it. No, I hit it quick. I I got her in a car. I said, "Yo, Tuts, hop in a car and fucking <laughs> fucking turn it turn it over and start revving the gas." That's real trashy too. When you have somebody in the passenger seat starting the car. <laughs> well, yeah, well, she couldn't get in because we were plowed, so she had to get in the driver's seat and then hop over just because we were so plowed in. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, so. I clean out the car. Now it's like coming down, right? Like it's like pro- it, it opened up on us. Yeah, it was a fucking. Bl- it was two <laughs> nor'easters so, meeting together. Which completely over wasn't your a, shit neighborhood. Which was completely off my fucking Doppler radar, dude. I didn't have none of that game across my wire. I don't know what's happening. You gotta get Hurricane Schwartz on the line. So I fucking we get in the car and now I go. All right, we got to pull up and get a coffee. So we pull up to get. A, she gets. She hops out to get me a coffee. And uh, has the heat in that thing? It's good, good heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. AC, Bomby. what? <laughs> AC's a little touchy. I mean, in like a heat wave, it ain't gonna do much. You're better off with the windows down. <laughs> you don't pop the unit in the window. <laughs> <laughs> I got a window. Yeah, we think I got the fucking oh, window man, unit for it. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> fucking barreling down eighty four. Think <laughs> how cold it would be. Oh man, your battery would be you, finished. You only, you only need to turn it on for twenty seconds. <laughs> Man, Talk about a screaming Mimi. Full, full size AC. Yeah. <laughs> Make ceviche in there. <laughs> so I start up. So we, we hop in and we get gas. And I realize I'm hemmed, pretty hemmed full up. Full tank? No, before I get gas. No, I had to get out. I was getting out of the city. So we stopped and get coffee. And I realized it was going to be pretty fucking dicey because we were on like a side street. You know, we weren't on like a main, you know, we'd be on like kind of the street right next to your apartment, you know, not the one out front, like the a little more side street. Tough to get out of them. And I go to press the gas and the auto traction your starts fucking kicking in. Like my all my wheels aren't hitting all fucking place, so I'm like this ride's going to be tough. Cuz cuz we're going into the fucking mountains. So I'm like it ain't going to get any better. Like if it's this bad in the city, I'm fucking I'm fucked, dude. This ain't going to be good. So I'm tense. I am fucking tense. That's a white knuckle situation. And she doesn't know. She's like, oh, it's okay. And I, I'm like, this, I'm not worried about what it was at the moment. At the moment, I'm like, I'm fine in these conditions. I'm going, what is this going to be like in an hour? So you I got to cross the Delaware water gap. You, so, have, you have a scary bridge to I cross know. at some point. So it's I, waiting for you out there. I st- <laughs> like the Widowmaker. <laughs> bridge freezes before road arrives. Oh, I remember learning that when I was a kid. I remember my dad telling me that put the fear of God into yeah. me. It all it made perfect sense. I don't know why. I just Because there's nothing on under, the bottom. Figured, yeah. yeah, the air gets under there. So See, the moisture gets trapped between a roadway <laughs> and a... <laughs> what you want to do, Hankies, <laughs> if you're... <laughs> You got to turn into the spin. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> you charge a knife. No, you charge a gun, you run from a knife, turn into a spin. What, what I say? <laughs> what, I never caught a fish before? You haven't been fucking caught. What do you know about fishing? Um, I forgot about that. So For a movie that I don't like, I've watched The Irishman uh, way too many times. Yeah. So I... <laughs> So I started off in the left lane. We get out into like the Palisades or whatever. <laughs> I ended up in the. Tr- <laughs> I ended up in. I started in the left. Ended lane. up in East Japip. So I started off and I'm in the left lane, but then the left lane. Where? On a highway out of here. I don't know. In Jersey. I'm somewhere in Jersey. Okay. I get out and I get into Jersey. Get on like the Palisades or whatever. Head up. Head up. You got the balls in that piece of shit to get in the left lane. Well, it was it was okay at first, right? And then as the left lane, because there's less people in it. Starts getting, you know, you can see it inching in, 
the snow's inching from the median into because there's no traction. There. I know, man. So I get into the middle lane, and now everybody is in the middle lane. No one's in the left lane. And dude, we're nine minutes into the trip, and I'm like, this is going to be fun. How slow are you going? 40. I got to keep up with traffic. I mean, dude, Pete, dude, by the way, there's fucking jerk offs in like Neon and it's, Plymouth dude, Voyagers insane. whipping by. I'm like, where are you going? That's why when you where see you going? 50 car pile up in, in icy conditions, I am stunned. The way people fucking drive on the highway in a snowstorm when the fucking road's not clear. Yeah. It fucking blows my mind. Um, so now it's like, you know, it starts off at a foot into the left lane, then two feet, then three feet. Now it's like croaching in on the white, and I'm going, I'm fucked. And she's like, can we stop and get magazines? I'm like, magazines? We might have, we might have it's even- in a barbershop, honey. <laughs> I'm like, we might not even make it. And then I was thinking, I'm like, this is a track. Magazines? To read when we get to the spot, like when she's like relaxing at the spa or whatever. So you're going to need a cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm burning. like, but I'm like, ladies, we're going to pull over a carton of Bernie's and fucking <laughs> you got to be like, you got to be some like Foley's girl with these things and fucking Johnny on the spot with no the chains. <laughs> that masseuse is going to break their hands on your cement back. <laughs> so she goes, have you been under any stress lately? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just made dead man's run. To get <laughs> with this broad reading us weekly next to me. <laughs> I went face to face with old man's bluff and he blew <laughs> first. <laughs> right, she's finding out where Kate Beckinsale gets her yogurt from. <laughs> Ironically, it's the same place as Green Foley with the pineapple. <laughs> Screw it you'll ne- Doc, you'll never believe this. <laughs> Million to one shot. It's in a story of Queens. <laughs> Stopping it. Dude, in those situations, I tell her. Don't say a fucking oh, don't don't say a word to me. <laughs> Jeez. Just shut up. <laughs> and she's like, "You're a fucking psycho." Uh, I literally. I, and I'm like, "Yeah, but I'm gonna get you there alive." That's what I'm. And, and all I also too. They don't get it. No, they don't. She, she's got her feet on the dashboard. I'm like, "Fucking airbag!" You fucking put your knees halfway through your asshole. What are you doing? <laughs> Get in the back, get in the back like the plane's crashing. Put your head between your legs. She's got one of those legs. She's filing her nails and shit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I feel like I'm driving a tank, dude. I feel like I'm driving into a fucking blitzkrieg. You got a life preserver on? I got one of the oxygen masks like an airplane. <laughs> you driving the Memphis Bell over here. Oh, oh. It's fucking. Stop for magazines. This is my favorite. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm stop. like, stop for magazines. No radio. If it is, it's fucking, it's it's news radio on AM. I want the real story. <laughs> no, I, need, I don't need that serious XM. I don't care what's going on I don't in need, Omaha. I don't need no fluff piece. Give me the hard news on the eights. Ladies and gentlemen, get off the roads. <laughs> get off the roads. Batten down the hatches. Especially if you're in a 2006 five Mercury Montego. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need some fucking well-dressed fucking hip guy giving me the scoop with a smile on his face. I want You're some t- hard nose beat reporter telling me how it is on the street. Hey, Ira Glass, we're tanking over here. <laughs> Zip it. You're doing 90 in a golf cart in a blizzard. Well, give it. My car is a tank. It's a big fucking car. It's That's even worse. The tires on that thing. No, but it's heavy. It's how You want the heaviness. Those tires are bolder than you are. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> They're pretty good. Tebow taking shots at the boss, huh? <laughs> coming out of your paycheck. Dude, I'm mid headed too. I'm throwing rocks. <laughs> He's got a couple in him at happy hour. <laughs> He's about to take a fucking run at the boss. <laughs> Had the young bull. <laughs> <laughs> so you're I, nuts. So I also, I, but now she goes, I'm leaving my phone at the house because it's like a relaxation weekend. And you're also, I want to get into it, but you're not allowed to really have them out at the thing. You know what I mean? It's like you disconnect, it's a disconnection from like the outside world a little bit, you know, for your mind, body, and soul type thing. So she's like, I'm just going to leave it at the house. I go, okay. But now. We're fucking, I'm using it for GPS because I don't know where I'm going. So I need to turn by turn unless I and can. And you don't have the setup. Do I you? do have the setup. Oh, you I do? Got, I got the window, John. Yeah. Oh, thank God. So, but I, she's like, I'm, she's like, hey, how long is it supposed to snow? I go, I don't know. And we can't look it up because you don't have your cell, like, you don't have your cell phone. And we can't, you can't start Googling stuff on mine because I need to know where I'm going. I can't. I know it's going to snow three years from now. I have fucking, <laughs> I got that shit locked. Everybody's got a phone. They're charged. There's water. There's a flashlight. I got flares. The whole nine yards. At that point, I still thought it was going to be like when I, we left the house, it was going to be flurry, you know, just like whatever. Like, Dude, I'm in the middle of a. You got, you got shorts and a Hawaiian shirt on. 
I want, I want to lay it. Zinc on your nose. Dude, I ended up in a squall. Dude, this thing was tough. So, <laughs> so we pull up to gate. Now I got to Now I got. Legend lives on from the <laughs> chip one. So it's also that thing where it's like, all right, now I got to start. I got to make sure my cell phone's ch- plug charged in case we go off the road. And I, I got to make sure I have battery. Well, thank God I got boots on. <laughs> You know, buck knife and some snowshoes. <laughs> I got a can, have, I got a can of gas and some sardines. We can live for three weeks. She's trying to have. She's on relaxing weekend tip. Yeah, you're in the Revenant. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hardy's closing in on your six. She's reading People magazine, and you're like, I wonder if I could eat her. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. D- <laughs> if I can burn those papers, I can get a fire hot enough to cook her. Oh fuck. Um. So we, well, you would have remembered talking about this, wouldn't you? Uh, so we pull over to get gas, and in Jersey they pump your gas. So I pull up, and the guy, it's so the weather's so bad. He went home, dude. He ain't nowhere to be found. So I'm like honking, and you can't just you need like a key to start the pump. Uh, excuse me, my good man. <laughs> he comes out. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> he's like, "Go home, dude. It ain't worth it." <laughs> I thought this was going to be a snoozer F2. He's like, what are you? Uh, he's looking at me. I'm like, 30. Nah, 25, dude. Tw- I don't want to. Because if we pull out, if we, if we get jammed up, I don't want all the gas in the car. Dude, you know it's bad. Wait, if then... you get jammed up, you don't want a lot of gas in the car? That's an extra five bucks I need in my pocket in case I got to pay a tow truck driver or something. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just. You want to have a full tank in case you get the, stuck. And No, but the, the weight, too. You need the weight to keep this the... guy in the weight. <laughs> I wish I had you in the car. <laughs> Stop by grab Foley. <laughs> hey, hey, babe, this is get pretty bad. I'm going to circle back and grab the big man. <laughs> Where are you folks heading? I'm like the specialist. <laughs> he's, he's got a bag of White Castle burgers. <laughs> happy, I'll get you there, happy, happy anniversary, folks. I got it from here. Just tie him to the roof like a Christmas tree. <laughs> Make a left, a left I said. <laughs> Foley has to look it up there. It ain't good, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, got, you got goggles and a scarf like an old-timey pilot. Riding stagecoach. I'm, I'm just handing him up burgers. <laughs> <laughs> you good big man. I got you, Kippy. <laughs> He got a long holler about two miles ahead. Looks like a rookie. Stay to the right. <laughs> this I, guy's I, all over the road. I ain't never lost a man on an expedition. Oh, my fucking back hurts, man. Everything hurts. Oh, this can't be healthy. What are you doing? <laughs> the gas station. Dude, gas station guy wanted no parts of pumping my gas. <laughs> Dude, you gotta abandon the trip when the Sherpas are taking off. I know. Well, she's like, yeah, no shit, man. <laughs> yeah, so the that- billy goats are going the other <laughs> way. <laughs> That's like when the birds all start flying. All the pets start running inland. <laughs> all the plows are going the other way. I'm like, what the fuck? That was always my thing with that tsunami. People were like, the fucking ocean pulled out three miles. People are hey, you up- stuck around to check out the coral reefs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, buddy, hop on a tram car and hit the bridge. Meanwhile, the dog's shaking his knees or <laughs> shitting in the street. Fucking run. Wow, what are you doing? So You gas up. So we grab g- some snacks. Gas up. She's like, do you think they have magazines? I'm like, lady, I'll fucking kill you. You think they have mag? This ain't going to have fucking magazines. So... Um, I still can't Google where it's going to be worse, how much worse it's going to get, what time it's supposed to snow. I don't know anything. I'm just knowing I'm driving into the mountains in a squall. You think the tennis court's over? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. I have a real important question. What's the refund policy on this trip? <laughs> there, I mean, there is none. There is no. It's yeah. Oh, that was my dad. <laughs> We're going into it. Yeah. So, oh God. So. We start cruising, and now the middle lane where we are is 
kaput. That's all. Sn- it's snow. Like you know, it was at least like. That's a situation you'd rather be in traffic where everyone's driving slow. That's why I was like, I want to get, I want to follow somebody. You know what I mean? I want someone clearing the way. Excuse me, sir. Are you a real man? (laughs) I I need a. What if I scooch in? I need a nose tackle or a fullback or something. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking clear the pathway for the T go. This guy's playing Smash Mouth football over here, right up the middle. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking do Staley right up the gut. (laughs) None of that West Coast bullshit. Did you say Smash Mouth football? (laughs) Yeah. And so we called it back in the day. <laughs> oh, so we fucking. So now I f- I'm feeling like, OK, it's whatever. It's it's worsening. The sim, you know, the, the scene is getting. Dude, wor- I was it was like fucking dark at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it was great. By noon. It, it was, was gray. fucking. It doomsday. was great. I was like, even if it was snowy, it would be OK. So or if by it was the way, sunny. you were driving illegally. All the roads. There was a state of emergency in New Jersey and Pennsylvania. Not at that moment, I don't think. <laughs> I had about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was... Because, I mean, meanwhile, people were passing me. Like, I was... They were giving me the look. Like, what's this guy doing? <laughs> so, um, I... Uh, so then, at one point, we got to get on, I don't fucking know, the throughway or 84 or something. So, we're riding with a group of people. You don't want to be on 84. Everybody goes right, and I'm the only guy going <laughs> left, you know? And I was like, I'm like, this ain't this. Kippy, is- last time I saw him. <laughs> <laughs> last time I saw him, he peeled off a left. That makes me nervous. I, I when that's it, when- I, it's like, I, I looked at her, I go, I even, the wrong st- way? I even said, I said out loud, I go, this ain't good. And she. <laughs> she- <laughs> <laughs> the way you just <laughs> I got to say good because it wasn't like meant to say it just came out and it was like I was it was like it was like a perfect storm. I was looking at that big wave you. over like capsizing the boat. I'm like, this ain't going to be good for business. <laughs> and she goes, what? And I go, I don't like leading the charge. I don't like being the first man in. I'm now I'm now blazing the trail for the ever like there was like one Corolla behind me a few clicks back. He ain't gonna make it. No, he ain't gonna make it. <laughs> he don't have the weight. He was dead before he got in the car. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um so this ain't good. <laughs> <laughs> so it then subsides a little bit. It slows down. It doesn't get any worse. It slows a bit. It's still snowing. The flakes get sm- get you. The flakes get smaller, which it was always to me. When they get smaller, I mean, there's a lot more in store. That was always the bigger they get, the, the sooner it's going to stop. That was always the, I don't know if it's a myth or the, I heard yeah, Hurricane Sh- Schwartz tell me that. I don't know. We're getting dumped on. And the fucking windshield wipers <laughs> aren't fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were back at the house. <laughs> They're back with the guy at the gas station warming up by the fire. So I, it's a thing to keep the heat going. I got to have the back defrosters on. I don't know how the headlights look. Can I jump in there? Buddy, I'm right here. That defrost and the snow and the uh, the wipers will fuck you. They get, like, streaky dry. Yes, that's it. Yes. You have to keep hitting the juice. Uh, which... You don't got a lot. I got and ju- it's water. No, I got juice. Kool Aid. There's something wrong with the connection <laughs> where it don't come out. I got bad guns. Kippy slinging ecto cooler. <laughs> yeah, I got bad guns. It's squirting the other way. It doesn't even. Go- I don't know where it goes. It's not even getting to the it's pistol. Like a clown flower. Um. So yeah, that's that's not a thing. That's bad. So it's you know. So now I'm letting the snow fall on the windshield to moisten it up so I can clean it real quick. You know, and that because it dries out. So I got to let it get. Some, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. So I got to let that to solve that. Instead of spray, I let the snowflakes gather up a bit. Then I wash them off real quick. Oh, I was I was ro- I was fucking that's safe. Yeah, I was I was wrong. I was flying blind for a little bit. <laughs> so all, and then it flashed in my head. I go, this is like what you hear about comedian fucking finally gets like budding comedian finally gets successful. Yeah. Honeymoon anniversary. Driving for a one night spa getaway, drives off the side of a cliff, hit by a fucking tractor trail, and I'm uh-huh. going, I'm di- this is this is in print already. And that's why when you asked me on the episode that we just did, the when you said, Oh, it's your birthday, I said, I didn't give you a date. I said it oh, it's at the end of the month. Because it's always two days before his birthday, three days after his birthday. So you don't think the universe knows your birthday? I don't know. I just don't like. I'm not also, hold on. I'm I, not giving him a shot. I gotta say, there was a YouTube comment I believe where you remember how Foley did the knock on his head and the five dollar. You know when he does something wrong, he's got to wipe $5? it and knock it or the five the AYG but whatever. Um, and he was bonus. knocking it and wiping it, knocking it. Wiping somebody goes Foley was like a third base coach telling you to steal home. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, home run. Um, so it lightens up, it subsides a little bit, and the sun comes out. I'm on the greener pasture. Nice, look right? at you. As we get into PA, it's not as bad. Like it's kind of it stops, and we stop. I get a fucking six here to sneak into the fucking hotel, not for the ride to take for the hotel. You stopped. We stopped. Yeah, once it cleared up, I go. I gotta fucking. I gotta okay. get. I gotta get a pack of Bernies. I gotta fucking take a leak. I gotta reassess some shit. You know what I mean? I'm not stopping in the middle of that thing. You out of the woods now? Uh, what do you mean, out of the woods? Like, Go ahead, keep going. Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, t- weather-wise, we're fine. Okay. So we get the highways are clear, like, because it's not coming down as much and people are driving, so it's, you know, it's like, mm-hmm. kind of like, like it's just rained or whatever. I'm still got my head on a fucking swivel, you know what I mean? I'm checking my six. Charlie's still out there. <laughs> <laughs> Kibby's got a trucker hat with Born to Kill written on it. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Confederate flag on my back. So we, we, we get going, but now the... Then we get into like the we get off and now we're in the mountain town. I don't I don't like that man. And they're not plowed and they all got SUV. They're like snow people. You know yeah. what I mean? They might as well be fucking Yetis. It's gotta be <laughs> <laughs> Hey Chewbacca. <laughs> you grab a shovel and hit the walk with <laughs> Why don't you throw some fucking salt behind my back tires? I'm yeah. stuck right now. I thought they smelled bad on the outside. <laughs> oh, so we fucking, uh, so the back roads getting there was dicey. It was like I was all over the place. And it was those things where I'm like cruising down a hill and I'm like, all right, I, if someone's coming around this bend, it's going to be tough. And then also. Better not be a 10 speed race. <laughs> <laughs> and then also like, it was like, all right, I got to lay on it going down this hill because I got to get up a hill. Because there's weird rules with that. It's you like can't roller slam coaster on, momentum. You yeah. can't slam on the brakes. My dad taught me. You got to pump the brakes. Pump the, yeah, you got to pump the brakes. Like Toby said, you have to turn into a spin. But I don't know when I'm spinning. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on. Which, <laughs> which way's left? Which way's right? No. I don't know. Yeah. I thought you were going to say something. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Um, so, hey, pop an Adderall, will you? What the <laughs> fuck? Uh, Fully signed in a snowstorm. He's like, there'll be a documentary about me. I'll finally get a TV credit. <laughs> you can't put a gun to my head, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most earnest response. <laughs> this screeching halt was brought to you by the Chicago, Chicago comedy scene. Chicago. <laughs> what the hell was that? And I have multiple TV credits. It wasn't even accurate. That's why he stiffed you. That's why he stiffed you, because you said he didn't have any TV credits. That's why he didn't laugh at you. And one last night. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, all flustered, knocking his drink all over the place. Shit. Run the clip. <laughs> they cut my lines. <laughs> it looked like you paused for a second. Uh, I think he was about to say something, then lost confidence in the was joke. Was that what you were going to say when you paused? No, I, I, I'm. No, I had a good one. I'm, no, I'm, I'm editing, so I just, I just I, looked yeah, I, over. I, the... I saw a movement and I looked, and we caught eyes, and it was like a deer <laughs> in the headlights. Oh god! Um, so we finally get, you know, we get there, um, and uh, all is well. That fucking. I mean, then I, I told you on the iTunes episode about the fucking on the family app about the valet, which was embarrassing. Yeah, you're embarrassing. Trash. But I did something fun. I did have. So it's also you're supposed to check out, um, supposed to check out completely of fucking, you know, you're not allowed to have, your, they, they don't tell you you're not allowed to have your cell phones. Like, this is a, like a t- relatively technology free place. Like, don't be on your fucking speaker phones. Don't be. It's because they didn't have Wi Fi. <laughs> no, this place, I'm telling you, this was, this ended up costing me like a fucking trip to Europe. It was a lot of, well, costed her a mm-hmm. trip to Europe. A lot of cash. Very nice. And it's the dude, I, I knew it was going to be nice because I popped into like the bathroom on the first floor. This is how you know we're trashy too. So it's a spa, right? And check-in's not till like three. But they're like, you're allowed to come early oh. and use the services all day and use the oh, facilities all yeah. day. Dude, I'm there at eight a.m. Dude, we were there at fucking ten. Fuck yeah! So early check-in. Is it ready? Let's go. So go oh, but dude, so they go. Like, we'll get your bags. We'll text you when your room's ready. Your bags will already be in your room by the time you go back to your room. Like when we text you, you don't have to do anything. We're just letting you know it's ready. Whenever you want to come by, so we can get your keys. Your bags will already be in your well, room. Where do you change to put your like your shorts on and stuff like that? There's a locker room that would be like presidential because you know it's fancy because part of the locker room is carpeted and there's like couches and stuff in there. Wow. All like oak locker. Like a golf, co- like a yes, golf course. Yes. Nothing it's... like a country club locker room. <clears throat> Dude, you could like, you could fucking take a towel off the stack, wipe your ass with it, throw it on the ground. By the time you look, someone's replaced the towel and then another guy picked that one up. Really? And it's, it was so limited. There was only like, 
I don't know, maybe 15, 20 people using the, the whole facility. Yeah, it's a fucking blizzard outside. I know. But I was, and I mean, because it's like, you know, limited stain or whatever. Sure. So, but I mean, I was a king of the fucking castle. But there was these broads there. Birds? <laughs> a couple of birds. And they're like, oh, the whole place is, you know, cell phone free. Like, we, you know, try to keep, we're trying to not to have you fucking celebrate it. If you want to take a picture or whatever, but don't be playing music, talking on fucking FaceTime and all this shit. <clears throat> it's also like you're supposed to be there to relax, you know. Sure, unplug, unwind, get a fucking massage. Dude, these this broad brought her cell phone charger to the pool. Like there's like a big indoor thing, and she's charging it. She's standing in like this most tranquil place oh, what a garbage next to thing. the wall, charging her phone. And I'm like, what are we doing here? Like, this isn't you're supposed she's to be talking here. on it, yelling no, at No, just fu- fucking whatever. Another person so there's an outdoor hot tub, probably like the size of this room. I saw that. Yeah. That's what's nice with the snow. That's something I've always wanted That's to why know. I was like, I'm glad it's fucking snowing because we got to hang out oh, there in the snow. Oh, yeah. I've yeah. always wanted to do that. It was. It's. it's. I'm always weird how that works. Rich people. Are you, are, are you cold up top? Yeah, but in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. I open the window when I'm taking a shower in the winter. That's the closest thing I ever came to. <laughs> Get to drip. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's real class. It's very nice, very classy. But then also, too, so, like... Good for the skin, too. We... This is how I knew we were trashy, because we got there at, like, 11 the one day, like, the day. You're, you're, you're garbage, but you're not trash. That broad is trash. That's trashy. I'm garbage. That's fucking shit. I'm garbage, because we checked... How'd she even get in there? (laughs) We checked in that morning at 11 and didn't leave till, like, 7 p.m. the next night, because you get it the whole next day, too. Really? And you don't gotta pay... So, during the week... Even after you check out? Yeah, they what do check they do out with your bags. Oh, we'll, put, we'll put them in your car. They send someone up. They grab everything out of your out so of your don't room. Don't you have to get? Oh, uh, you have bring. You maybe keep a bag to change in the yeah, locker. Yeah, they give room? you a bag. They give you a. They give you a bag for the week, and they keep it. Oh, really? Yeah, you keep the bag. What is it? it it's like a canvas bag or whatever. Herschel? <laughs> no. This is how. Also, I knew we were fucking trash because my girls like think they'll know if we steal the robes. But they were fucking. I mean, yeah, then that dude. Like putting, they were like rough on the outside, like you would want, like you would see them, you know, like the stitching kind of. Sure. Inside was like velvet. Oh, buddy, it was fantastic. You walking around with your little stinger hanging out naked? No, you got a, you got trunks on. Trunks on. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, these and then I so the, there's like a an outdoor hot tub this big, right? Um, and if there's one other person, you're allowed in it, like, you, but she's got to stay over, like you, they got to stay. Not over your there. girl. No, like out outside of your traveling party. Sure. Um. So there was this woman in it, and she, uh, she's like, "You can get in if you want." Because like, I like she by herself. Yeah, she's by herself. Oh. Um, she's like, "You can get in if you want." I'm a Menage Kippy. <laughs> I'm over here, so I'm like, "Okay." So, uh, where's your girl? At this point, I think she was getting a treatment done or sauna or something. Because it's guys and girls. What do you mean? So like, the guys have their own locker room, their own sauna, their own hot tub. Even the outdoor one? No, the outdoor is communal. So there's like a communal part, a co-ed part. But inside, the guys have, like, their own hangout room. They have their own locker room. Nice. They have their own hot tub, their sauna, steam room. Test the waters while you're on vacation. Yeah, I'm you know, let it, it go. <laughs> um, there's a male and female entrance to each, like, to the spot. It's very, I got very you. cool. Uh, so I'm out there. And, she, dude, we're in this fuck. We're in that hot tub, and it's snowing, and she's on FaceTime. And she's like, yeah, I'm just, like, up here at the fucking thing. And I want to be like, what are we doing? I would have easily said What so. are we doing? But it's also like then uh, that's just going to a- anger me for all day because I'd be like, I should have said this. I would have said that. You know what I mean? That's just but you're going to think that anyway. I know. But I just go, oh, she's fucking stupid. Like I can just be like, oh, she's a piece of shit and <sighs> move on from there. And just, But like, dude, she's sitting there like, yeah, we're here. You know, fucking anything. I'm like, why are we even are you here for social? What are you here for? That like, Instagram likes crazy. I mean, I was. I was getting some fucking traffic on an Instagram post. <laughs> Kid was doing fucking... Yeah, Pulling a Schultz digits, Living it up. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What would Schultz do? Yeah. Schultz would be posting about his cool thing. Sure he would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, Love like, I, I had to have the six-pack. I got stopped and got a sixer. You got the sixer in the hot tub with you? No. Can't do that. No, but I mean, I got the sixer in the hotel room in the second sink. Can you grab a ice. cocktail at the bar and go outside and sit at the in the hot tub? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plastic cups. They could do plastic that's cups. That's cool. I'm not yeah. an asshole. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, I was like, tell you what, you would think it's not, but an IPA in a plastic cup, ice cold, it's clean living. I don't hate it. Yeah. Dude, cold beer. Hot- <coughs> cold beer, hot tub, not too shabby. Yeah, it's fucking, buddy, I'm telling you, I was so relaxed. I was I was like, nothing will ever bother me ever again. <laughs> Toby's killing me. <laughs> um, But I did have, honestly, I mean, it could have been the IPAs talking, because at that point I was about seven or eight of them deep. 
Uh, Get, I had getting the, drunk with nothing to do. <sighs> nothing to do any, but relax. Is there anything better? And then it was like in the morning I get up and I fucking steam. Ah, oh, get that out of you. Gotta ever get all the fucking sweat out of you. Yeah. Get all the love IPAs. Love a oh, It's great, dude. Love a steamer. It's great. Shout out to my buddy Phil who introduced me to the place. Mm-hmm. And they go, for, he's got cash. They go for the weekend. I know Phil. They go because it's minimum. There's a two night minimum on the weekend. Which I can't fucking swing. It would have been fucking thirty five grand. I can't do that. Hence you rolling up on a Sunday. Yeah, hence me rolling up on a Sunday in a snowstorm. Yeah, we were all weekend. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get some magazines. But I mean, I was there for like almost forty eight hours. Sure, whatever, you know, got my money's worth. <laughs> Stole some products, some samples. Yeah, yeah. Did it, you get a massage or anything? I think I got a I got a gentleman's facial. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. I think we already talked about this. I don't know if we did. I've had one before too, but I was drunk. <laughs> 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 Yeah, it was fantastic. But I did want to get into this is kind of, I had the best meal I've ever had. I wanted to ask you. Best meal I've ever had. Because you had said that they had a they had a burger that you wanted to check out. Did I know. Did you ever get I, a hold of that grass fetter? I fucked up because I thought it was also going to be uh, the I thought it would be on the I thought it was on the dinner menu, but it was only on the lunch menu, so I saw it on the lunch and I didn't That's pull the classy. trigger. No burgers on the dinner menu? Oh, dude, this place puts you to and also it's a no cash place. So I, but then I was there and a the guy goes, I sit down on my first meal, right? And there's like an old What's your first meal? Lunch? Lunch that day. We got there, hit the spot. You can eat in your robes. They encourage it. Fucking sit down like a dude, they give you they give you fifteen pieces of silver. I don't even know what to do with all. It was like an erector set. Right in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to do with it. It was fucking rolled up in a napkin. Like it looked like a fucking like a Dora flame log. <laughs> So, so I sit down and the guy goes, John, come here. And John comes over and I, he, he hits John with not a one. I don't know. Who my, it had 20, 20 vibe to it. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It wasn't a like it wasn't. It was a, it was a 20 vibe. Mm-hmm. So I go, fuck, am I supposed to be tipping his broad? I don't know what the fuck's happening. No, like, so I Google it. Do you tip here? And it was no, 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 no. Everything's on the everything's they, they whack you at the end and they get you. They get you at the end. Don't worry about it. They get oh, you. really? Yeah, they get you at the end. Dude, you go into a place with a nice tablecloth. It's like trading places. You're like, I don't know what's going on. I don't on. know what to do. This is what I'm saying. Like, I can acclimate, but I got to look around to make sure I'm doing the right thing. You know what I mean? Sure. I can play along, but I'm making sure I'm, I'm, I'm I know the rules. Start right. on the outside, work your way in. Yeah, always, exactly. always. So, I mean, but they also had it when you unrolled it, 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 un, it unraveled that way. What, like a fucking shaving kit? Nah, but they weren't. It was just like every time you did it, it fell the right way. Oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. You know Damn, what I mean? That's like, classy. There was two knives, there was a spoon, and there was three forks. Paper napkin or cloth? Cloth. God, what am I, a fucking <laughs> asshole? You're about to torture someone in Guantanamo? <laughs> I know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, a no, pair of pliers and a axe build a butcher over <laughs> yeah, here. Not like I'm f- about to start boosting cars or something. <laughs> Which I which I did try some of the door the door the handles on the Mercedes, um, and uh, any hotties up there? Yeah, older crowd. Old, nah. I mean, yeah, thirties, forties, and then like you know, it was all over the all over the map. Not a lot of eye candy. I had the I had I had the best dame of the lot. Really? Yeah. Which felt That's pretty right. good. Felt pretty good. Yeah. 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 She's a racehorse now. <laughs> right. She really is. Night bomb. What do you mean? <laughs> Kippy's got girl. Kippy's got a Sunday night ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. It was nice to be walking. Like I was catching eyes. People would c- catch her and then catch me. Like, suits, bathing suits. Yeah. Two piece, one piece. Me? Her. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you can't teach this stuff. You can't. I'm sorry. This is what you're paying for right here. <laughs> yeah, you don't get you just got your we got your money's worth for the year on this episode. Uh was well, she wearing a two piece? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She's your opinion. She's lucky you had anything on. <laughs> <laughs> hey honey, we're still in the States here. This is Pennsylvania, not Transylvania. Let's go. <laughs> Put it top. <down. laughs> Put those things away, will you? <laughs> Oh God! That was a fat Transylvania line. It was five fucking. By, I threaded the needle with that thing. Come on! It should have got more. It was too quick. It was. It was quick and a thinker a little bit. Too good. K- Kippy's in a speedo in a robe. Really? <laughs> I'm in the pool in my robe. <laughs> I just imagine your robe instantly having mustard stains on it. <laughs> no, I don't fuck with mustard. I don't like top. Ah, God damn it, I ruined my hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't touch that robe. I got beers in there, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you got the party mix from the bar. You're eating it right out of the robe pocket. Really, she's prancing around in a bikini. <laughs> 
<laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'm serious. I mean, yeah, me I too. can see that. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can, weirdo. <laughs> I'm sure you have a couple of times. <laughs> I can close your eyes, take you to Pleasure Town. <laughs> ah, that's a good feeling. Um, oh God, I don't even know where I was. Um, it was best tree on the lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. It was a good. <laughs> <laughs> but then you feel a little self conscious. You know the guys are peeking at her. Yeah, I don't care. And I'm sure there had to be some other guys in there, you know. Um, yeah, I caught them. They look. I, I mean, I'm, you know, she's attractive. I'm me. Just right. think, they probably thought you were rich, and then, <laughs> or what? a big pee pee, and yeah. they fucking overdo. <laughs> 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 they're probably telling. They're laying in bed at night. Well, he's probably packing. Wrong. He's probably loaded. Wrong. Well, they see your bulge in the fucking in the in the in the bathing suit when you got to the pool. <laughs> well, that I wore the sheath just to give myself an extra fucking inch or two. I got two pair of sheets on, oh, <laughs> wearing them backwards too. Confuse you a little bit. But can you imagine some guy sees you getting into the Montego on the way out. <laughs> you ruined that guy's life. Uh, yeah, he's he got probably me. went home, got a divorce. He's like, "What am I doing wrong? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck's that guy doing? My wife's paying for it as a checkout. <laughs> She's signing for everything." Look at the guy's dick. I think that's an all-day IPA. <laughs> <laughs> Look this at guy, his dick. Is that a ninny? <laughs> this guy's got a founder's. Oh. Man. Look at you. Good for you. All right. Uh, the meal. Your yeah. first meal of the day. First meal of the day. I took pictures of the menu so we can we can play a little bit. Oh, what? Beautiful. Yeah. Prices on there? Uh, everything's on the cuff. You can order anything you want? Uh, yeah. How many? What? <laughs> How many can you get? Of what? No, you can't order. It's not a buffet. You get a meal, like a prefix. Oh, it's a prefix. Okay. Um, so you can't order like a couple different appetizers. I'll tell you one thing. I'm sure you could, but he added to the room. Go ahead. Tell <laughs> yeah, they ain't sharing. Course. Huh? No, not sharing. <laughs> they're not sharing. I'll tell you that much. No. Wait, because they're weirdos. Yeah, Correct. We talked about not sharing. Yeah. yeah. We share with our ladies. She of wanted to share. I didn't. Yeah, dude. It's nice. Couple. There is nothing better. Than, than having a couple of drinks and sharing an appetizer with the, with, with, oh, the, with the person you love. Sure. Right, T-Bone? Half a fried chicken sandwich, half a burger. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. A couple of fries. She ain't going to finish it. We don't have right. Um All right. Just for time, because we got to get we gotta get boogie anyway. Um, Where are we at? We're 52. Yeah. Cool. cool. Okay, perfect. we'll do this. Um, all right, this is for dinner. I only took dinner. All right. Um, dinner. How many courses? Uh, th- four, I guess. Entree, salad, uh, main dessert. There's no appetizer? A- I'm sorry, appetizer, salad, entree, dessert. That's pretty good. Can you yeah. get soup or salad? You get both. You get a salad. Regardless. Regardless. Read the menu. First, choice of one. Creamy chicken soup, cauliflower cream, free-range chicken, rosemary biscuit, fine herbs. By the way, everything's farm to table, farm on the property. What? Yeah. Damn. Farm on the fucking property that you can walk to. They got rosemary? <laughs> <laughs> Lobster mac and cheese. Delon- Del- I don't know. Dilatellini Del- Del- pasta. You can stop at the lobster mac and cheese. That's it. <laughs> that is the trashiest rich person food. Calky, Calkins creamy, three cheese fondue, crispy bus- Brussels sprouts, caramelized sweet potato, fine herbs. That's in the mac and cheese? On top, like crusted on the top. That was The crust was shredded. <laughs> fucking Brussels sprouts. And I was like, what is this? I've had it before. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had it in this form. What kind of beans are these? <laughs> um, <laughs> Stop looking at my girl. And which spoon do I use? <laughs> Sesame and tree juice maple syrup. Hit the bricks. I don't know what that is. Uh, roasted radish. Uh, is this a separate dish? Separate entrees? Oh, separate? no. That's, that's a sesame and tree. Wait. Sesame and tree juice maple syrup this roasted radish. Yeah. So you, you for sure got the lobster mac and cheese. Yeah, two lobster macs. Also, by the way, when they go, because my girl's doing gluten-free for like medical reasons, they go, is anybody gluten-free or any food allergies? I told them on the phone when we, I said, yeah, my wife is gluten-free. Everything came out adjusted or. What, no mac? Uh, they Just used cheese? gluten-free whatever. Really? Yeah, on hers. Damn. Yeah. And then they were like, they, dro- they came over and dropped bread. And then the, wait- the waitress came back and she goes. I completely forgot um, 
Because you just tell them what room you are, and they know that she, my wife is... Did she ever fired? No, she goes, she came back out two seconds later, because my, my wife goes, I wish I could have, like, I, I would kill for a roll. Two seconds later, she came back, she goes, uh, I, I forgot to tell the chef that you were gluten-free. We didn't tell her, they just know on our files. She goes, I forgot to tell you you were gluten-free, we, they just fired a gluten-free roll for you. Real fucking So you crushed classic. the rest of the basket. I, uh, I did that whole basket, daddy Yeah. Keep the butter coming, this ain't gonna <laughs> cut it, tuts. How, how are they serving the butter? Uh, due to COVID, it was in like a, like a small, uh, p- p- small ramekin. Yeah, but a tiny, like a low rimmed, not like a r- regular ramekin, but like a ramekin ish dish with cellophane on it and like a creamy I, thing. But no they had co- to have cellophane. No COVID. I bet that's coming out like a like looking like a flower or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just got it for COVID. They got to they got to crush it Good up. Good times. Um. Okay. Roasted tomato caprese salad. Okay. Um. And then. Salad, a regular. You could order a regular salad for whatever. Sure, house salad, balsamic vinaigrette. I'm sure. Entrees. Here we go. The money maker. Free range chicken breast marsala. <laughs> nope. Can White you... miso marinated Chilean sea bass, which I wanted to get my hands Maybe. on. Maybe. Stop leading us. Stop leading us. We gotta guess. Uh, root vegetable crusted diver sea scallops. Okay. No shot. Vegetable bolognese. Zero percent chance. Okay. Prime 10-ounce New York strip steak. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting close. <laughs> Let me run down that for you. Peter Wilcox potato poutine, black truffle, cheese curds, charred baby carrots, roasted uh, Roman secco, broccolini, red wine, demi-glaze, and compound butter. It was fucking out dude i took one i moaned when i uh, <laughs> when i ate it was so good dude oh that's what you got that's what i got there's no filet but no no filet butter it changes every day new york strip huh new york strip menu changes every day all three meals it's, now the steak can't be farm the table i guess the steak is and i guess all the i would assume all the produce is sure i mean i doubt they're you know <laughs> killing the cow next to the fucking sig hut i was in <laughs> and then a butternut squash and herb risotto oh Man, I love fucking risotto. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's uh, on the side with the steak. No, that's another whole main. Or is it? <laughs> Depends if you're tipping. <laughs> Desserts, camera, uh, caramel apple cheesecake, chocolate raspberry tart, pumpkin creme brulee, vegan orange almond ginger cake. Did you at least get two different desserts? Yeah. we got the, I believe we did the caramel apple cheesecake and the chocolate raspberry tart. Didn't go for the creme brulee. <sighs> Rookie move. I don't know what she did. She might have did the cr- the creme brulee. That would make sense. The cheesecake and the well, the, well, the cheesecake and the creme brulee. I can't remember. I was at this point. I was fucking eleven IPAs deep. I, and I the beers keep coming. Yeah, you pay for the beers at checkout. I found out. <laughs> 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 a fucking nine bucks a clip. Um, I only had ten. Yeah, he's lying. Yeah. But it was fucking fancy pants. Oh, I got this for you. I want to do that. We'll run through this real quick. I got breakfast. Oh, I love you, it. Dude, this, is, this would love- be. When we were in Hawaii, we did one nice breakfast at this hotel. And it was literally, dude, it was just eggs, bacon, hash browns, and toast. It was like 30 bucks. Yeah. We just did one day. Every, every other day was just, you know, eating a musubi or something like that, which is fantastic. But just that simple stuff. Dude, it, 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 I didn't bitch about the price at all. It mm-hmm. was so fucking good. Yeah. Just simple and done well. I love it. Uh, so you, you, get a, <laughs> you get a drink, right? Like uh, They have ju- like juices. All, you know, sweet sunrise juice selection, chef smoothie. You can get coffee, organic teas, whatever. That's all on the cuff. You get a you know, fresh squeezed juice. Mm-hmm. Um, now, did it mean? Choice of one: smoked ham and Calkins creamery cream creamery cheddar omelet. So mm. I guess Calkin creamery is their you know uh, open faced egg white omelet, two farm eggs fried or scrambled, <laughs> organic sweet potato cow butternut squash hash. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, no, that's what the broad got. Wasn't too shabby. <laughs> Belgian waffle. They are trash at getting that. Stuffed crepes and homemade strawberry chia seed jam. Not bad. Not too shabby. Where's the eggs, Benny? Open-faced colossal crab eggs, Benedict. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Cha-ching. <laughs> That's what Kippy got, Daddy. Oh, yeah. You're, crab Benny. 
if you're getting anything with jumbo or colossal in it, <laughs> well, colossal crab is like a that's like I don't know something. That's what they say. Yeah, that's what Godzilla fought. <laughs> and Toasted one. English muffin, poached eggs, black morforms, green spa hollandaise sauce. Oh, I love hollandaise. Breakfast BLT, hot steel oat cut oatmeal, spa powder bowl, power bowl, toasted bagel locks. Three breakfast skillet scramble. Then on the sides. Then you get your sides. Choice of not one. You're firing me up here. Not one, not two, but three choice of sides. We're really? talking breakfast potatoes, turkey sausage, history smoked, hickory smoked bacon, bagel with cream cheese. That's what I got. <laughs> My wife goes, eggs benedict and a bagel with cream cheese. So shut your mouth. I'm paying for it. Uh, Chobani non-fat Greek yogurt, house-made granola. Chobani? Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. Get some fage at this dump, will you? Mix fresh fruit, breakfast, breads, or toast. Love, I love Choice the- Choice of three each. Love them. I'm, listen, I'm a huge fan of the, bres- uh, of the, the, bread, the breakfast bread basket. <laughs> yeah. A I'm little a apple butter. Dude, Good I'm night. telling you, it was fucking- If you got 15 grand, you should go to this place <laughs> for a couple of hours. It's a fucking home run. It was great. Wow. Best, I have the nicest place I've ever been to, for sure. Must be nice. Must be nice. Mm. Tune in next time for the polar opposite. <laughs> Foley, goes Foley goes down a shore. <laughs> for a nuclear stress test. <laughs> Tell you a story about me and my girlfriend getting to a fight in the grocery store. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Gang, this has been an exciting Ooh, episode hot of the Hard Feelings. Uh, we'll come back next time. We'll talk about Uncle Hank's nuclear stress test because I'm not talking. I'm not topping fucking colossal jumbo IPAs or whatever he did. Uh, we love you, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.